Hello again and welcome back to our course on Access 2019. In this module we're going to explore how you can create a link table. And I haven't mentioned this before, but Access is considered a relational database management system. So within it you create what we call relational databases. And at the core of the system is a set of tables and the relationship between the entities in those tables. So to demonstrate what I mean to make it a little bit easier to understand, I'm going to create a relationship between two tables. Now, we only have one table so far in the Esprit de Tour database, which is our tuple trip. So we need to first create another table. Now, earlier we talked about trip type. And I'm going to create a new table which will hold a list of the different types of trip that Esprit de Tour offer. So I'm going to jump up to the Create tab and I'm going to click on Table Design. And this gives me a completely empty table without even an ID field. So on this occasion, I'm not going to have an ID auto number type field. I'm only going to have a single field and that is called type. So let's type in the field name of type. And this is going to be a short text field. Now, because we only have one field in this table, I'm going to need to make this field the primary key. So I'm going to select that row. I'm going to go up to the Design tab and select Primary Key. And then I'm quickly going to jump down to Field Properties and just check what we have going on down here. So the first thing is field size. Now my trip types um, are going to be fairly short, so I'm not going to need 255 characters. So I'm just going to change that to 30. Is the trip type required? Well, yes, it is. Do we allow zero length? The answer to that is no. And do we want this field to be indexed? Yes, we do, but we don't want any duplicates. So I have my single field in my new table set up correctly now. So now let me save this table. So I'm going to go to close it down and it asks me, do you want to save changes to the design of table one? So I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to call this tuple type and click on OK. So now you can see over in the navigation pane, we now have a second table here, tuple type. So let's open that by double clicking. And currently, obviously, this table is empty. So now we need to enter some data, which we've seen a few times before. And I'm just going to add in my first record, which is activity. Now I'm going to add in about seven or eight different trip types. So let me type those in and I will see you back here in a couple of moments. So there we go, I've added in my different trip types. Now one thing I want to highlight here is the spell check. So I might want to check to make sure that I've spelt all of these correctly. On the Home tab in the Records group, we have an option for spelling. And I can see there, spelling check is complete. Everything looks good. So those are now my values for type. I'm just going to close the type table and I'm going to go to the Database Tools tab and I'm going to open the relationships. Now this window shows the relationships that exist between the tables, which is currently none. But this show table dialog will enable you to control which tables are shown in the relationships window. So I need to show the trip table and the type table. And I'm going to click on add. So what I now need to do is to create a relationship between them, which will define that a trip can be of many types. So to do this, I will normally introduce a third table or what we would call a link table, which will link trips to types. So I'm going to create the link table next. So I'm going to close this show table dialog. I'm going to go to the create tab and this time I'm just going to select table and I get that ID field and I'm going to need an ID field in this case. Now let me jump across into design view 
And of course, we're going to name our table. So this one is going to be called tuple trip type. So that's the name of our link table. And click OK. Now this table will enable you to link each trip to the type of trip that it is. So what I need to do here is I need to specify two things. I need to specify a trip and I need to specify a type. So let's type those in as our field names. So I need to specify a trip and I also need to specify a type. Now, by default, each of these fields is a short text field, but just be aware that that is not always the case. Now, the trip field needs to be able to identify which trip I'm talking about, so which trip is being linked to. So, as you know, with a trip, and let's jump into design view for trip table. So, I also want you to note here that I now have three different things open. The unique identifier here for the trip table is the ID. So that is the primary key. And in order for the trip type table to uniquely identify a trip, it needs to store the primary key value of the trip it refers to. So let's just jump back to trip type table. So when we are referring to an auto number field, so that ID field, the type we want is not short text, it's actually a number data type. And if you look down in the properties, you can see that it's a long integer. So to make this a little bit clearer as to what I'm referring to here, I'm actually going to change this field name to trip ID. So when a field in a record points to a primary key in another record, in this record, this is what is called a foreign key. So let's add a description for this as well. And I'm also just going to add a description for this ID field. So when a field in a record points to a primary key in another record, in this record, this is what is called a foreign key. So in the table trip type, trip ID is the foreign key which points to a primary key in a trip record. Now let's turn our attention to type. And I'm just going to open up the type table in design view. Now in the type table, the primary key is a short text field because it's the trip type. And there's no reason that I shouldn't use that as the primary key. Therefore, in the trip type table, when I refer to the type, I'm referring to a short text field. So this needs to be short text as well. I'm just going to add a description for this field. So let's now check the properties of this particular field. So I can see here for type, we have a field size of 255. So I'm going to change that to 30. Is this a required field? Yes, it is. Are we going to allow zero length? That's going to be a no. And will this field be indexed? Well, that's going to be a yes. And duplicates are OK, because the same type might be used in many trips. Let's just also check trip ID. This is a long integer, so that's OK. Required, then that's going to be a yes. And is it going to be indexed? And we're going to say yes to that. And duplicates are OK. So I'm pretty happy with how that's been set up. So I'm just going to close down some of these tables. So let's close this down. I'm going to say yes to save changes. I'm also going to close down my tubble trip and also tuple type. So we're just left here with our relationships window. I'm going to right click just on the blank screen and I'm going to select show table, which will bring up that relationship show table dialog again. And you can see now we have another table that's been added. So we now have our tuple trip type in there as well, which is our link table. And I'm just going to add that table 
to the window. And you can drag these tables around. So you might want to move them into an order that you think suits you better or a way that it's easier to understand in your mind. So because this is a link table, I'm going to put it in the middle of these two. So now that we have these tables set up, we need to set up the relationships between the tables in the Esprit de Tour database. And this is exactly what we're going to look at in the next section. So please join me for that. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get a free Microsoft Access 2019 course, including downloadable exercise files, click over there. And click over there to watch all the videos in this Access 2019 playlist.